Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another edition of Awesome Calls Trading. It was awesome. Uh, today we traded some F on uh, reaffirming its guidance. We went after Netflix and NVIDIA on a nice gap fill. We wanted $244, 244 on it. It hit 244.53. Uh, really good, good stuff today on our list. But let me take you to one that really just rocked our world today. And we're going to give it to Shake Shack. Shake Shack Goldman came out super huge with a big call. They think in one year, up to one year, this is worth 80% more than it is today. So big call. It was bought in. It was bought in yesterday I noticed last couple days it looks like there's been heavy buying coming in however once I saw the call I wanted traders to immediately go long to 70 to 72 I felt you could be buying 72 calls at the open and look for a week out well guess what we got the 72 in probably 25 30 minutes of work um, and then from there we just been trying to short it um, I want to get it towards 68 break that and then try to get that 63 this is uh, Again, it was bought up the last couple of days. So for us, it was just a matter of, of uh, you know, when it's a golden call like that and they put a huge price target of that substantial, you've got to allow for a squeeze at the open. And that's exactly what we did. Hence why it's where you were calling 72 calls on it. And this stock hit almost just a tad under 72. And then it collapsed. And it hasn't seen it since. Great trade. Next one we did was Beyond beyond again was just a great read great perfection today this was actually 100 percent accuracy on beyond and the notes beyond uh got some uh, a target note on uh, the idea that bernstein felt that the stock was worth 106 i have my own thoughts on that that i shared in secret sauce and i felt the stock would be a uh i thought beyond would would uh, most likely pop at the open without hesitation cap off around the 115 area and then I wanted to sell I wanted to short the stock to 107 and this is exactly what I wrote okay All right now I could not short the stock unfortunately with my platform but a lot of people in our room can't and so I don't hold back the call I just I just call it like it is the stock will pop to 115 and top off there and then sell off to 107 okay now I want you to look how accurate the call was, right? Here's 115, and here's the 107. Now, equate that to money. Come over here. Let's equate it together, right? Look at my Twitter feed. Okay, what do you see here? You see that? And see the call he took? Beyond. Want to know why the great Noel is in our room? Because we keep feeding him stuff like this every day. And he works a full-time job. Okay? You give a gentleman a trade like that, and he's going to take advantage of it. That's exactly what he did. That's the end result with these calls. Man. Oh, I want to short this. Netflix even more. It just, it just keeps selling off. But I'm in the middle of a webinar. Oof, man, just pulled below 338. All right. Anyway, the next one we did was uh, Neo. Neo was a good call today. Uh, Neo was gapping up on something to do with a billion dollars in financing, and then that later today they said they didn't get any financing. I don't know what's going on with them over there, but I do know that it was in play for us today. It was gapping up, as you can see from. 377 all the way up to 448. This morning, I told the traders the stock will come down to four. When it hits four, I wanted everyone to go long. That was the trade. Here it is right here, NEO. NEO, uh, if it pops towards 4450, great. Short it, take it down to four. When it hits four, long the stock, back to 440 to 450. And that was the call. So even though it's a 40 cent play, it was still a good play because you could play with size. 
You know what? I want to take 400 shares of fucking, uh, gosh dang it, I'm chasing here. We take three, four, 350 shares. 350 shares. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, I'm missing it so bad. God damn it, I should just left it. Oh, I don't want to get it popped here. Back to 338. I'm watching Tesla pull. I should have just jumped in here. I'm, I'm playing for scraps now. See, I'm watching Tesla pull. You see this? As long as Tesla keeps pulling, I can get Netflix to pull. What I don't want is a pop here to 80. I'll end up giving back. See that? That's what I don't want. See this, Coco? See that? That's what I want to avoid. That's what happens when you chase. See that 30 cents right there on 350 shares? See the pop right here? It's chasing. Okay, so I have to let it go. I'll let it sit there in case I see another pull coming. So what I do, Coco, is I watch Tesla on this particular day, and as long as it keeps yanking, I know Netflix will pull back. You see, if I would have shorted right here, I would have lost some money right there. If I see one more pop here, you see this pullback on Tesla now? So let's just see if Tesla pulls, then I can pull this. And I'll go ahead and go in there. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see if it's going to up. Oh, see, nope. See the green? Ah, see that? We lost $90. Okay. I'll just keep an eye on it. All right, so the next one that we did was actually, I think we did Netflix, wasn't it? Well, we had Neo. Okay. Oh, we had CLVS. This was a great play today as well. CLVS had some interesting news on it, but I didn't think it justified the gap up, so I wanted to sell off on the stock today, on the name. So I told everyone, do not long the stock unless it hit through 1150 or more at the open. Otherwise, to me, lower lows are going to set in. I call the stock value at $9.50, $9.50. The stock ended up hitting down to $9.20. I wanted everyone to short CLVS to $9.50. And here it is. It was our number one pick today. $11.50, $9.50 to $10 spot on a short CLVS. Beautiful. Well done. Well executed play. Uh, another one we did today was Target. Uh, Target. Uh, can, had reaffirmed guidance, didn't really impress investors, but it's a Wall Street favorite, so I figured the stock would get bought up to $120 a share. I told everyone in pre-market and at the open to buy the stock at 113, 114, and look for stock to hit at 120. Stock ended up hitting about 119.46 before fading back and grinding. <laughs> Great play on target. Well executed trade. Next one we did was NVIDIA. The video was a basic uh, cookie cutter trade for us. I wanted this stock today to come down to $244 per my notes. It was gapping up on comments that uh, I think it was, I forgot who gave it a comment this morning, that they felt the semiconductors were going to double in volume. The stock spiked on that. I figured it was a sell-off to $244 a share. I wrote it right here, as you can see, on the video. Start scaling in short, add on any pop, the stock will gap fill to $244 a share. And as you can see, if you came in our chat room, you bought puts on it, or you went equity-wise, you took short here at 248 249 You waited pretty much most of the day, you ended up at 244 The stock is currently at 244 Yeah, video. That was a really good play here. Tesla, same thing. Tesla, again, another green day for us. Really good read on the call. This one I wanted initially to pull at the open. I'll show you how I wrote it. Tesla will be playing every day. This one I wanted a small push to 543, 534, and then I wanted to smash it to 520 to 525. This is where I felt the value of the stock would be today. Market was flat. You know, some numbers came out. I figured today Tesla's bottom would be 520 to 525. I want to buy that weakness. I want you to look very closely at this call. Are you ready? 
So to me, I wanted to short any pop at the open and take it down to 520, 525. And Tesla is currently at 525 here and 520 there. It's a perfect read. I didn't say the stock would run to 600. I did not say the stock would run. I just wanted you to short the stock at 535. Here's the pop at open. You see it pop, 535. Then I wanted to take it straight down and slam it down to 525 for an 11, 10, 11 point trade. And that is exactly what I delivered in 13 minutes of work. Again, I tried to short 250 shares of Tesla live in the room at 531. They would not let me fill a TD and it cost me a three to four point trade. And let's do one more for you that we had a lot of fun with. Uh, let's do uh, Nectar. Uh, Nectar was a really good trade today. This was a short idea. Uh, they had some bad news on uh, FDA. Didn't approve one of their uh, things. So we wanted a quick pop at the open. Uh, towards 26, we figured shorts were going to cover. Then we were going to scale in short for an all-day bleeder. And we were looking for $22 on the stock. The great fire trader, one of the top mods in our chat room, he went short, played puts on it, and received over 400% return on his money. Uh, he called it out. It was a great call in the room. You have to give the gentleman props for his great accuracy as well. He saw this as much as I did. He took it. It slammed, broke the flag, and he just saw his money, and that's all it did. Ended up going to 22.75. And I'll give you one last one, Manta. Manta turned out to be a nice trade today. Manta had an upgrade uh, by two firms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's enough. And this one, I just basically called a pop it open to 31, scale in short, take it down, and it hit $28 a share. I think I'm going to short this uh, Netflix real quick. Hold on. I'm watching uh, Tesla pull down. I'm going to try to do this live before I clock out. See his Netflix? Come on. See that right there? Now watching Tesla. See the pull here? So I'm going to go for it. Oh, I'm not filled. Why am I not filled? God damn it, fill me. They're not filling me. I put 350 shares in. Short, they're not filling it. But they took my money away. Because my buying power just dropped. What do I do? Am I making money? Let me look at monitor. Am I in it? Netflix. No, it's not even moving. Fuck, now it's moved. You fucking ass wipe. Buy the cover. Buy the cover. Buy the cover. Buy to cover. Fucking pricks. Buy to cover. Buy to cover. Got it. Made $100. Fucking jerks. Okay, well, I shouldn't be yelling, but I got 100 bucks. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't film me right away. Oh, shit, I'm recording this. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, well, so that is today's, uh, what is it, today's webinar. Um, now you know how I trade in the rooms. <laughs> anyway, I took 350 shares short right here on this pullback, and I just covered, um, and I made uh, about 100 bucks. Okay, so.